In these problems, we're being given the solutions to a quadratic equation, so what x equals. And we're being asked to come up with the quadratic equation that would lead to those solutions. You're used to doing exactly the opposite, starting with the equation, ending up with the solutions. So what we're going to do here is basically go backwards. In this first problem, it says that the solutions are negative 1 and 3 fourths. What that means is x equals negative 1 and x equals 3 fourths. Now, you might remember that with a quadratic equation, we set it to 0, then we factor it, if it factors, if we're lucky, and those factors are each set to 0, and then you solve those factors for x after they're set to 0. So we want to go backwards here. We want to get these set to 0, and then we'll have the factors. So to set this one to 0, I'm going to add 1, and I get x plus 1 equals 0. This is a factor. Over here we've got, let's see, I need to subtract 3 fourths. I've got x minus 3 fourths equals 0. And I could call that a factor, but I don't like dealing with the fractions. And I would recommend that you multiply the fractions away. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 4. That would give me 4 times x is 4x, negative 3 fourths times 4 is 3, and 0 times 4 is still 0. So my factor then is 4x minus 3. And my other factor is x plus 1. We're just going to multiply those together, and we'll have our quadratic equation. So x plus 1 times 4x minus 3. Let's see, that's 4x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 3. We'll combine our like terms, and we get 4x squared plus x minus 3. And that is the quadratic equation that has solutions negative 1 and 3 fourths. If you're not sure about that, go ahead and do it. Try to factor this, use the quadratic equation. You should find solutions negative 1 and 3 fourths. All right, this next example is a little bit trickier. We're going to do the same thing, except in this case, we're starting with these complex roots with imaginary numbers. But really, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll start by writing these as x equals 3 plus 3i and x equals 3 minus 3i. And then we'll set these to 0 by subtracting. So this one, I'm going to subtract 3 and subtract 3i. So I get x minus 3 minus 3i equals 0. And over here, I get, let's see, I have to subtract 3, but add 3i. So we'll get x minus 3 plus 3i equals 0. Now those are my factors. And you might uh, be a little uh, worried here because we've got three things instead of two things inside our parentheses. But that's okay. We can still multiply these. And you'll see that some amazing, wonderful canceling happens. So I think the way I'm going to go about this is I'm going to take the x and multiply it by each of these three over here. Then I'll take the negative 3, do the same thing, multiply it by each of these three. Then the negative 3i. And I'll arrange all the things down here in some columns that'll make combining the like terms a little bit easier. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. x times 3i is 3xi. I'm done with the x, so let's go on to the negative 3. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x, so I'll just put it under the, this column here. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And negative 3 times 3i is negative 9i. Okay. Looks like we're getting a lot of terms here, but I, I guarantee this is going to get simpler in just a minute. Let's go on to the 3i now. Sorry, the negative 3i. So negative 3i times x is negative 3xi. Aha, those two add up to 0. So we can get rid of those. Now, negative 3i times negative 3 is a positive 9i. Aha, those two add up to 0. We can get rid of those. And finally, negative 3i times 3i is negative 9i squared. Now, you might say it looks like we still have an i term, but remember, i is the square root of negative 1, so i squared is negative 1. So this is really negative 9 times negative 1, or a positive 9. So when we combine our like terms, we've got x squared, we've got negative 6x, and we've got 9 plus 9, or 18. And that is our quadratic. 
So that's a little bit about starting with solutions and finding the quadratic equation that gives those solutions.